Next tonight, testing trouble statewide. Computer-based testing was put on hold today because of technology glitches. This is not the first year this has happened. 7 Eyewitness News senior reporter Eileen Buckley takes us to one school that recently made the $1 million jump to computer testing and is now feeling the frustration. Some of my fellow classmates were getting kicked off. Students at Cataract Elementary had troubles yesterday with their ELAs on the computer. Today, they're shut down. The state education department halted testing after technical glitches were reported statewide Tuesday. It happened in the Niagara Falls City School District. Some students had delays as they tried to download their completed work. Sometimes it's hard because when you're typing, you can click the wrong button, and then the whole entire screen will either go black or kick you off. The most frustrating part is that kids with all preparation done by their teachers and, and, and themselves uh, got into a start and stop mode with their testing. Fall City oh, Superintendent got, Mark Lowry says the district good. spent $1.2 million to purchase new equipment for students in third through eighth grades for this year's testing. The state's vendor, Questar, even sent a representative to the district, but that didn't prevent the troubles. And they made many of the fixes, but they still weren't able to overcome the humongous amount of traffic that happened on actual testing day. They were having issues with logging on to the computers um, and into the Questar browser. Um, there was definitely a sense of frustration from both the teachers and the students as well. State Education Commissioner Mary Ellen Ilya announced ELA computer tests will resume tomorrow for fifth and eighth graders. Ilya says they are holding Questar accountable and she's very upset with the situation. Questar issued a statement saying it understands the frustration and is working around the clock to implement changes. Eileen Buckley, 7 Eyewitness News.